How are you today? I appreciate your concern for my performance to be televised, Mr. Chairman. It's very nice of you. Well, that's why I called you and told you to hi <laughs> on today. <laughs> thank Go you. Ahead. Thank you. Uh, for the record, Mr. Chairman, Frank Boozer, on behalf of the ap applicants Lee Cohen and Benjamin Sheckman. Hang on. Well, he's got to do the preamble. <coughs> 1 p.m. case, Benjamin Sheckman, Lee Cohen, Bagel Boys of Baltimore, LLC, training his tavern on the hill, 900 Cathedral Street. Class B, bear one, liquor license, application transfer ownership, request for operative service. So I testify to the board and raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm the testimony that you're about to give to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Again, Mr. Chairman, for the record, Frank Boozer on behalf of the applicants, Mr. Sheckman and Mr. Cohen present to my right, uh, Bagel Brothers of Baltimore, LLC, uh, trading as Tavern on the Hill. That uh, would be the new name of the establishment. I was somewhat shocked that it wasn't taken in the State Department Assessment Taxation, but that, in, of course, will, uh, will be the new name. Huh. Thank you. All right. Tell us uh, a little bit about the uh, application. Mr. Uh, Chairman, this will be uh, transfer of the application. It's at 900 Cathedral Street. It's a, a restaurant in the basement of a residential building. Uh, it's been there for, I believe, close to 30 years, a really neighborhood place that I would say, in general, is an older crowd, 30s, 40s, 50s, and above. Uh, I can't tell you that the you know, stray MICA student, University of Baltimore student, doesn't wander in there once in a while. Uh, it's become run down in recent years. Uh, Mr. Cohen has ex uh, extensive experience uh, in the restaurant business, close to 20 years uh, at this point. He's uh, really going to be the main operator of the business. Of course, his right hand, though, uh, will be Mr. Sheckman, uh, also present here today. He'll be also operating the business uh, on, a, on a daily basis. It'll really be a, a joint venture going in there. They're not going to reinvent the wheel. Uh, it, as to what used to be Howard's, as I said, it's going to be a main focus of 30s, 40s, 50s, uh, and above, higher end uh, food service. They're going to put some significant funds in there, as I said, to spruce it up, make it a place that's, again, inviting for people to go to, uh, bring some energy uh, back to it. And their vision, in speaking with me, is, again, to really have a community place, uh, someone that people that live in Mount Vernon uh, see as their local establishment to go to, and I can't think of a better place right on the corner of Cathedral Street uh, right there. Uh, gentlemen, I've um, gone over and filled out the licensed beverage application with you that the board has. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And everything's true on there. Nothing's changed since the date we, uh, we filled that out. Correct. We've also had an opportunity to discuss the rules and regulations regarding the sale of alcoholic beverages in Baltimore City and moreover the state of Maryland. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And you have no questions to the board uh, at this time uh, regarding that? Mr. Right, Chairman, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> I have two questions. Thank you. Mr. Sheckman. Good afternoon. How are you? If I, if I may, I Ms. Smith, before. Mr. Cohen, why don't you explain to the board briefly uh, about your experience in the restaurant uh, business? Well, basically, I'm a Baltimore boy. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, grew up in Baltimore City. Grew up in, grew up in Baltimore City, Rogers Avenue. Started uh, 14 years old at Burger Chef. Mm -hmm. From Burger Chef, I went to Pantry Pride. From Pantry Pride, I was Pimlico Hotel, the original Pimlico. And from there, I've owned, I presently own a food distribution company called Avenue Gourmet. Deal with people like Whole Foods and all those others. Um, have my certifications that I need. So uh, we saw <coughs> just a really nice opportunity. Um, it's a really cool place. Um, really, uh, I used to belong to an organization called Port City Power Company where we did everything for the city years ago. Um, so we just want to bring it back. All right, thank you. Any um, questions for Mr. Cohen? Yes, I have a few questions. One, yes, um, great segue from Avenue Gourmet. Can you talk to me a little bit about the menu items? Sure. I'm pretty familiar with Howard's of Mount Vernon. I just want That's, to know. They what had the a great turkey sandwich. They did. They yes. had a great turkey Reuben. I just yeah. want to know what the difference will be with the exi existing establishment and their menu and what you plan to incorporate. Um, the menu that they have right now is pretty extensive. A lot of hand, a lot of uh, you know, back of the house and everything. We want to kind of bring that up. Um, we want to make it pretty simple. Um, really, it's comfort food is our, is, is our focus. Um, we feel, you know, that um, we don't want to do anything that we can't handle, okay? We want to make sure, like I say, that the, neighbors, the neighborhood likes it, okay? So it'll be the burgers. Um, it'll be steaks, fish, um, bar-type, tavern-type, just like the name offers, mm -hmm. you know, from that standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, my second question is... Uh um, not related to the menu, but to the several 311 complaints that we've had for live entertainment yes, and, the, and the noise. Yes, ma'am. And uh, as my understanding is, that this location is not licensed for live entertainment, and you're not making that request. But I would like to know um, if there's any interest in that, what your plans are. If are, I may, at this time, Ms. Smith, uh, there will be no live entertainment. The uh, request is not being made. 
as a segue before I finish, we do have a letter from the uh, Mount Vernon Community Association yep. the supporting pulled. outside seating. Hope the board did a, cop did a copy of that this morning. Yeah, we pulled it from the file. Uh, it's been marked as the applicant's first exhibit and is received at this time. Thank you. If they're going to do any live entertainment, uh, their vision is bringing in, I think it's a smart idea, the MICA kids, music students, perhaps mm -hmm. Peabody kids uh, over there, tremendously smart and talented young musicians, and a three-piece set. Uh, nothing as a large, uh, a large band with amplifiers and the like. But I believe that request will be made of the zoning board. Of course, your board will be apprised of that in the near future. But I think they want to get up and running <coughs> first. Uh, and when they do that, that will really be the extent of, uh, of live entertainment. All right. Thank you. No further. Great. Any other questions? All right. Hearing none, we'll go ahead and go off the record at this time. <coughs> All right, let's go back on the record for our decision phase. April 4th, 2013, Benjamin Sheckman and Lee Cohen, Bagel Boys of Baltimore LLC, trading as Tavern on the Hill, 900 Cathedral Street. We're here on an application to transfer ownership and an outdoor table service request. Mr. Sheckman and Mr. Cohen uh, are present here today with counsel, heard from Mr. Boozer, <clears throat> and received an exhibit from the our friends at the Mount Vernon Belvedere Association, Steve Johnson, chair of the Liquor Committee, indicating no objection to the transfer uh, with the understanding that uh, table service is discontinued by 11 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. That's understood, And you sir. understand that um, you agree to that. Yes, he you actually spoke with Mr. Sheckman last night. And you agree that that's a license restriction. Yes, sir. Placed on your license. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Um, so between applicants one, we've examined the applicants. They have extensive management experience. We've heard specifically from Mr. Cohen. Um, the board will determine under Article 2B, Section 202A, a public need and desire for this request, a de minimis impact on the existing licensees, a potential uniqueness of services and products to be offered by your business, de minimis impact on the general health, safety, and welfare of the neighborhood, including crime, traffic, parking, and convenience. So we'll go ahead and approve your application. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank kindly. you. Thanks, Thank Sharon. you. Thank you. Thank We're you. off the record. Thank you.